Hello and welcome to the episode 330 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, among other things, we have live gigs, the Beatles recording their first number one and John Lennon trying to recycle some Beatles songs. On the 26th of November 1960, What Remained of the Beatles performed another night at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany. Having lost George Harrison along the way for his deportation, see episode 325 for more information, the band consisted of Pete Best on drums, John Lennon and Paul McCartney on guitar and voice, and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles played the Hamilton Hall in Liverpool for another night booked by Wally Hill and Vic Anton. George Harrison had returned playing with the band, and Paul McCartney had switched the bass to substitute Sutcliffe. 1962. The Beatles, now in their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, had a three hour session in Abbey Road to record another two Lennon McCartney originals, needed for their second single. Please Please Me for the A side and Ask Me Why for the flip side. The session was booked from 7 to 10 pm, but it actually finished 15 minutes early. The lads had arrived on the premises at 6 pm and so had just the time to rehearse the material before going into Studio 2 for the recording. It took them a total of 18 takes, including overdubs, to get the final version of Please Please Me on tape. When the song was completed, famously, producer George Martin commented over the talkback system. Congratulations, gentlemen! you've just made your first number one. Then, after a short break, they recorded six takes for a remake of Ask Me Why, which they had already attempted on the 6th of June. See episode 157 for more information on that session. In 1963, instead, the Beatles were on the road with the 21st date of their autumn tour two more houses at Regal Cinema in Cambridge. Before the show, the Fabs were interviewed live on BBC TV for East at 6.10, aired between 6.38 and 7.01 pm. One brief stop to remind you that your help is of fundamental importance for the continuation of my work. If you are kind enough to consider lending me a hand, please check out www.simonmas.com support to see what you can do. Many of the things in the list just need a bit of your time, but if you want to make even a small donation, you'll be very welcomed. Thank you! On the 26th of October 1969, John Lennon was at the EMI Studios with engineer Jeff Emerick, between 7 pm and 3 am. The aim of the session was to work on You Know My Name, Look Up the Number, editing it down to a duration acceptable for a single. In the end, John ended up with a version of the song lasting 4 minutes and 19 seconds, from the original duration of 6 minutes and 8 seconds. After that, John turned to another unreleased Beatles song, What's the New Mary Jane, recording voice and noise over dubs. By 3 am, the two songs were completed. John was determined to release them as a Plastic Ono Band single, since he thought that the Beatles had no use for them. Discs of the single were made, and Apple even gave the single a catalog number, Apple's 1002 and issued an official statement about the single coming out by the 5th of December. But the single never came out, probably because the other Beatles objected to appearing as the Plastic Ono Band. You Know My Name was eventually released as the B-side of Let It Be on the 6th of March 1970. See episode 65 for that. And with this release that never was, we can close the episode. Tomorrow, instead, 
there will be a new episode, with the release of another iconic single by the Beatles. Follow me to learn more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.